Okay guys, I have you got a on so much to say. So much happened. Um, <laughs> Skeet's um, Q&A was perfect. Um, so what happened was, with the questions, there, there were... Skeet um, answers questions like really long and you're you're good <laughs> and he was um, <laughs> he was answering his questions really long so we were running out of time and I was up to the I was the um, last person in line for questions and the gr and the lady was like I'll keep the last three people so she kept me up there because she thought that we would have just enough time for my question and just as I opened my mouth to ask the question, um, Charles stepped out on stage and was like, guys, we're done. And I was just like completely devastated. And um, so before the questions with Skeet had started, Naya was standing next to me and I had gotten two selfies with her and she and I had like made eye contact a million times and like she complimented my dress and said she loved my dress and everything so we were um like kind of becoming friends without like saying anything and then I took the selfie with her and then she like started loving me and she loved my dress <laughs> and then um when Skeet was like where's my daughter I screamed over here because she was like standing near me and then he made her go up on stage with him so when I was up last um for the question Naya uh Naya saw my face when Charles went on stage to say that the questions were over and she looked at me and was like and then I was just like I went like this so she could tell by my body language that I was just like so angry that I was the very last person and I was not gonna get my question answered so I don't know what happened because like I blacked out for a second because I was so sad but I just look up and Skeet was looking at me and he was like, I'll ask, I'll answer one more question. So I got so lucky. I don't know if Naya like told him that I was upset, but so he took one more question and I asked him about Penny Peabody, my wife. <laughs> and then I made him say hey to my group chat. So he said, hey, Donuts. So now like he knows who we are. And, um, we went to the hotel because my stepmom got really tired, so she wanted to go get some sleep. So we took her to the hotel, and then when we got back here, um, autographs for him were starting. And Sorry, I gotta wait for her to stop talking. Okay, so um, I go up to autograph, and Naya was at the table too, and she autographed my picture for me, and we were just having a normal conversation, like BFFs, and she was just, like talking about how she loved my dress and everything, and then um, I was like, do you get a lot of love with these two, like, so it's not just your dad, and she was like, oh yeah, and I was like, is it overwhelming? She's like, no, it's fun, and it was like, it's so amazing, and like, me and Naya are just like, BFFs now, <laughs> and then, um, I, and... So I brought up the dumbass. I was like, I'm in a group chat of 50 girls who absolutely love your dad and FP and Alice and everything. And Skeet overheard it and he started laughing because I was like, that's why I asked him to say, hey, dumbasses. I was like, woman. <laughs> So um, I was like, that's why I was like, that's why I told him to say, "Hey, dumbasses," because he was basically saying hi to all of my friends. And she was like, "That's great," and he was like over in the corner laughing. And then so I got her to sign the picture too. And then um, I go to Skeet, and he was he looked at the picture and he was like, "Hey, it turned out really good." He was like, "You can actually read the orange." I was like, "Do you need me to like explain to you the orange thing?" He was like. Sure. I was like, okay. So I told him the whole thing. Sorry, I keep having to stop for this lady. Um, <laughs> so uh, I was like, so one of the times the serpents were celebrating, like getting the trailer park back and whatever, and uh, you had like a bowl of oranges in the background, and we just thought it was hilarious that the serpents would like a gang member would be like oh let's have oranges at our get together and he laughed and was like wow I love that you see like little details like that that's great and I was like and then you're and then I told him like I just gushed about how his scene with Machen was everything the the baby daddy scene and Holy, so for actually Charles and Skeet I call all gold roads only all gold roads have been called for Ashley Charles 
and speak. So if you are silver, or if you do not have gold pads, if you do not have gold pads, you go back to your seats and we'll call you in again. Okay, and then, so, um, I lost my train of thought. She was talking so long. Okay, so I was gushing him about how Macha and then him was so good. And I was like, from a fellow actress, he was like, oh, you were one too? I was like, yes. And I was like, you were incredible. And he was just like, thank you. That means so much. And then he wrote on the picture, he was like, um, live your dreams. And then there's Nia's, and I'm just like, I'm so dead right now. This is incredible. I've literally been having the best time. I was so bummed before coming, because I was like, I just really hope it goes well. The only thing that didn't go well was I was... I had, ma I had made a video, a music video for the music video contest, um, and when I sent it in, they hadn't said that, like, oh, it has to be on a DVD, but I sent it to them in a flash drive, but I had no idea it had to be a DVD, so mine didn't get um, even, like, acknowledged, and then, um, so, but I'm going to post it on YouTube anyway, and uh, the costume contest got scheduled for the same time as Skeet's photo op and Skeet is only here today so I was like well I'd rather go to Skeet's photo op than the costume contest even though I made my costume by hand and it was super hard and I'll show it to you uh, it's amazing and I probably would have won but the two people that won um, I became friends with, I kind of became friends with them so like I was really really happy that they got first place because they were like a couple Betty and Jughead it was really really cute and I was so happy that they won um, um, and so I was upset. The two things that didn't work out for me were the music video contest and the costume contest. But other than that, I this weekend has turned out so well. It's only Saturday. I still have tomorrow and the karaoke party tonight and everything. But so everything has like worked out so well. Um, my like I the autograph with Skeet was amazing because I got to like have a full on conversation with him and I wasn't expecting to. Um, I got to speak with Luke for a long time, and Lachlan I've spoken to like almost four times. We're like okay. really tight now, too. Um, so, I, um, I've been able to speak. I really just wanted to talk to Skeet. Lachlan and Luke and they were the three people who I've interacted the most with this entire time and uh, I didn't get to ask Luke my question again I ended up being the very very last person in line just about to ask the question and the lady was like really mean and was like now we're done but the lady on the other side of the line was much nicer and sh and I ended up getting my skeet question so but I got to ask Lachlan and skeet a question and then this question I was going to ask Luke I asked him during his autograph so I got all my questions answered um, I'm literally like over the moon I still don't feel like everything that just happened happened it feels like I was just watching a movie through a virtual reality thing and it, it, I'm still not here like my body has not even been near them I, it's incredible and I was really depressed the other day because I was like I really just wanted to go to meet Marisol and Maid Chin and stuff and like literally none of them are here I just wanted to meet all of the moms but none of them are here but like meeting the dads has been a lot like better than I was expecting I knew meeting Skate would be great but I didn't know like how incredible meeting Luke would be and then meeting Lachlan he's like literally becoming my fan too. <laughs> he told me to tweet him like I was like you've tweeted me before and he was like oh yeah just hit me up again it was like it's just so fun I'm having a great time if you guys get a chance to go to a con do it but make sure you are prepared make sure you're organized make sure you book your tickets early like you you won't regret it I was regretting a little bit because I didn't feel like things were going well when I found out about the costume contest but all in all, it's okay. Um, I would have just ended up winning money for merchandise anyway, and the only merchandise I need is this serpent jacket, and I already have it, so I'm fine. Um, I just wanted people to see the hard work I did when I made it. So it will be on like Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. I'll probably just put it in this video so you can see it. Um, I think I would have won 
but it's fine. I literally don't care because the two, the girl and guy that won were perfect. And we ended up um, bonding over Skeet. Like me and the guy, he was like, I just want to beat Skeet so bad. So they let him win the costume contest and let him, like, ran him up to the photo op with Skeet because, like, I wouldn't have had time to do that with my costume because my costume was like all out. I have a wig, everything. I'll show you guys. Um, it's half Southside Alice, half Northside Alice Cooper, and it's like really good. Anyway, um, <laughs> thanks for watching this video. Sorry, I ended up ranting so long back here. <laughs> I just had a lot to say. Um, there's more that I could say too because like Ashley's. Q&A had a lot of like really cool moments that I wish I could talk about. Um, Skeet had a lot of cool like answers, but someone probably post them on YouTube later, so you'll see them. Um, uh, I hope that you guys get to meet your idols someday, and you'll you'll enjoy it. It's fun. <laughs>